Reading this, uh, I'd say, makes me more excited than the trailer for the new season of The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs>So now our next one, HMI-115, I'll bet this is another androgen receptor interfering technology. Not quite. Um, surprisingly enough, it works on the prolactin receptor. And in fact, it is an antagonist. I would think, you know, high prolactin states like uh, pregnancy or breastfeeding. Well, not so much breastfeeding, but pregnancy. That makes sense. <sighs> Women do lose hair when they're breastfeeding. Yep. Certainly doesn't have anything to do with the estradiol levels going from 3,000 to below 50, yeah. does it? Or the high incidence of hypothyroidism and euthyroid 6 syndrome. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um, you think of uh, prolactin to be pretty correlated with estrogen, lots of estrogen, good hair quality. But it appears that this prolactin receptor inhibitor um, has some good anecdotal evidence, which we have some reports up here. We do. We have the documents. Yep. So here's our insider information and some info from the trials. Um, this is a phase, has had phase one and I believe possibly phase two, but this anecdote was from phase one. Two sets of phase one data because they're pursuing a approval for endometriosis and also for androgenic alopecia. Mm -hmm. So I believe the phase one for androgenic alopecia is going on in Australia. And that is where our yeah. informant, who also informed the rest of the internet, but also informed us yes. of what happened to them during phase one. Yep. So the Bayer trial is for curing endometriosis. So prolactin inhibitor, prolactin receptor inhibitor makes a lot of sense for endometriosis. We talk about IGF-1, estrogen, and prolactin as all inputs for that. But even despite that, the Australian government wouldn't let them extrapolate results for safety and efficacy. Stage one is an efficacy and safety trial. All right, sounds about right. Right. Stage two will have a placebo control group. I don't know why, probably to minimize researcher bias. <laughs> this is a, a lay person, um, I guess, theorizing about why the phases of trials are a certain way, they should check out our clinical research podcast. They should. Um, lots of info on phase one, two, three, and then uh, post-marketing data, aka phase four. But um, anyway, this individual also mentions, or a different individual says, I mean, from what I can tell looking at other clinical trials like KX826 or the GT229 we just talked about, they either have placebo in phase one, two, or three, or they don't. <laughs> well, that is extremely accurate. And Correct. That's probably my favorite line from the document. <laughs> I, I do love that. Um, in phase one, usually they, they don't have placebo. And then in the other phases, they usually do have placebo because placebo controlled trial is extremely useful when you're uh, assessing efficacy and also side effects. So um, let's see, we could probably skip that. Um, but of note here, the commenter mentioned that it had taken this individual from a Norwood 4 to either a Norwood 3 or 2. And I think it was just a matter of uh, eight, yep, 18 weeks in and already almost filled the vertex and a whole bunch of baby hairs in the front scalp. We also like to, to call those dutasteride hairs. Because often you do see that when you're on um, something that's efficacious. Yeah. So this is, you know, this is all alleged. There's no real proof that this person was enrolled in the phase one trial. But it does seem particularly credible given that there were posts that were made over like several months time. And that this improvement over 18 weeks seems to make sense and fit with what you would see in someone who is like taking another treatment like a dutasteride, mm -hmm. for example where you would see kind of a slowly filling in and then more baby hairs coming in over a, a long time frame. It's not something that's going to happen in four weeks. So mm -hmm. I, I suspect this is less a company trying to like drum up interest in the drug and more so just, you know, serendipitously someone happened to be a user of like social media and yeah. happened to be in the trial and was putting this information out there. If any of you are in various trials, feel free to message us confidentially or publicly and let us know how things are going. Reading this, uh, I'd say, makes me more excited than the trailer for the new season of The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs>